Hello everyone and welcome back to Elite Sports Network. Um, we've gotten a little feedback saying, you know, how come this is all football? Where's the basketball? Where's the hockey? Where's the soccer? Um, I thought this is Elite Sports Network. We should be seeing highlights and things from all over. You know, where is that at? And I just want to say that, you know, our goal is to branch out over time and get bring in more sports to give, you know, coverage to more sports. Obviously, right now we're just getting started. Um, and we've just got college football is obviously our main thing. We're starting to really get the NFL, I think, in. And, you know, we're tr we, those are our main sports right now. But um, we're going to slowly be trying to start getting the other sports in as well. And I've listened to the feedback, and I think it's I've decided that, you know, without further ado, we're going to put in uh, basketball and, you know, really start covering basketball right now. And as you can see, that's what we're here to talk about today um, is basketball. Um, but... I have it. I didn't really want to, you know, really get into the basketball yet because it's way too early in the season to really figure things out. I don't want to be giving, you know, false information um, in terms of who I think is going to be in the playoffs and then be, you know, said, oh, you're wrong, you're wrong. You know, people are, you give false information. Okay, right now we can't tell anything. Just because the Bulls are 1-3 and three doesn't mean they're not going to make the playoffs. You know, at the same time, though, you know, how am I supposed to say, oh, the 76ers are, you know, they're 4-0, they must be going to the playoffs when they probably still won't. They're supposed to collapse any day now. Um, I think it's just a little too early to really get full coverage on basketball yet, but as the teams, you know, start to space out, we're really starting to get basketball in here, and um, you expect to see basketball coming a lot more in now. You know, people have said, you know, let's get some basketball, and so, you know, we're going with basketball. I love the NBA. I love watching it. I think, you know, it's fun to play basketball, to get into it. It's a lot of fun. So we're going to get into basketball now um, and the other sports coming later. Um, so here we go. Today we're going to be talking about way too early NBA awards if the season ended today. Obviously, this is not going to happen at the end of the year. Probably all these will be different um, by the end of the year. But if, the, you know, if we handed out awards today, who would get what? So let's get started. Rookie of the year, I think this is obvious. Michael Carter Williams all day Michael Carter Williams has you know done amazing so far for the 76ers this year one of the best rookie perf you know first night performances of all time you know he's knocked off the heat he's knocked off the bulls he's got the 76ers playing great ball him and Evan Turner really leading the team Carter Williams you know great stat lines every night he's clearly you know the best rookie right now in basketball um, Runner-up, probably Victor Olidipo. He's lived up to the hype off the bench. Um, he's, you know, playing good, sound basketball. And just, you know, overall, those two are definitely the front runners. And I'd probably give the award to Carter Williams just because of how well he's done against top opponents like Chicago and Miami. Um, for most improved player, um, there's two that come to mind. Um, and that would be Anthony Davis and Eric Bledsoe. Um, obviously, Bledsoe getting a new opportunity with Phoenix, you know, to really show his scoring powers, and he has done that as he's averaging 22.8 points per game. You know, that's a very high stat early. Um, that's great for him. Um, but Anthony Davis clearly gets this. He's averaging 22 points per game, 12 rebounds, and 4.3 blocks per game. Let me finish that off. Um, that's a great stat line right there. Davis definitely budding into a potential superstar. He is a superstar in the making. He's got the D. He's got the O. He can shoot um, for a center. He's definitely, you know, he could bud into a good superstar. Most improved right there. For six man, right now, if the season was over right now, definitely going to have to go with Isaiah Thomas, um, who's shooting over 50% from downtown for the Kings early on. Um, he's got a 21 three five stat line with 21 points per game three rebounds per game and five assists per game off the bench that's great um good for him in sacramento he's really providing a nice power um power and scoring off the bench obviously top men like jr smith you know reigning six man of the year hasn't played a game yet you know when he comes back i don't know if thomas will keep the you know six man award um jamal excuse me jordan crawford excuse me jamal crawford down in um, LAC, has been also putting up 17 points per game and is scorching hot with his percentages. Um, you know, look for him to be in the race as well, but I got Isaiah Thomas winning it. For defense, um, my friend brought up a really good point. Pretty much everyone on the Indiana Pacers 
defense could win this award. They're giving up 86.1 points um, per 100 possessions, which is ridiculous. Um, best, I looked this up, best defense of stat, you know, per 100 possession, possessions of all time. Obviously, that'll change, but um, this team has been playing lockdown D. Roy Hibbert has had a ridiculous 21 blocks in four games. That's about, um, you know, what, six, five, <coughs> five and a half blocks per game, something around that mark. Uh, that's ridiculous, about five blocks per game, I should say. Um, that's crazy that he's already up there in only four games. This defense has locked down the Bulls. It's undefeated. It's clearly, you know, leading the way of this team is the defense. Paul George also here, too. He's on the same team. You know, he's in the race for this title as well. Um, for coach, Frank Vogel of the Pacers um, is my winner right here because obviously they're undefeated and he's given them, he's making them play great D. They don't even have Danny Granger scoring yet. They're doing great. Um, another person I would say is Alderman out in Minnesota um, because obviously they're at the top of the Western Conference right now. Kevin Love, Rubio. Um, playing, you know, great offensive ball. Um, this team is supposed to, you know, be the, you know, they're not quite there yet team, but they're playing great. Um, Adelman's really got them working together, and I would like to see the Timberwolves continue to do well. Finally, for MVP, um, this is probably going to create a lot of controversy, but I'm going to pick two, and they're going to be quite controversial. First one, LeBron James. Um, everyone, you know, saying, what are you talking about? The Heat stink this year. Again, this is way too early, and, you know, the Heat are going to get better, you know, record-wise. But LeBron having a career year, actually, in percentages, 58% um, from the floor, 50% from downtown. Those are MVP numbers right there. You know, I don't want to see any hate for LBJ right now, even though his team might have not have the best record. Might not be beating the teams you expect them to beat. Too bad the Heat, you know, LeBron is still the most valuable player because what would the Heat be without LeBron? I mean, he is their team. So LeBron definitely, you know, probably going to win it. Um, definitely, probably. Definitely a top two contender. This guy, though, might give him a run for his money. CP3, um, a ridiculous 26 points per game and 13 assists per game. Sorry, that's a little lopsided, but um, he's having, you know, a great year as well. High, you know, that's averaging a double-double. That's pretty ridiculous. Um, so those two are definitely our MVPs. Scoring title, Durant has it right now. At 29 uh, points per game. Um, little less shooting percentage, but still, Durantula is back. You know, I don't know if he ever won anywhere, but, you know, people were doubting him last year in the playoffs. 29 points per game leads the league. But LeBron, once again, winning MVP. So, thank you guys for watching um, this episode, and I hope to get some more NBA vids out soon.